we're now on part 2 of my 2010 MacBook Pro review. You can see part 1 on my website. Today we're going to look at Mac OS X. So this is the dock. Um, this is the uh, view of running applications similar to Alt Tab on Windows. But Alt Tab doesn't work on the Mac. As you can see, I'm running through the applications here on the dock. Um, they automatically magnify as I as I hover through it with the cursor, and you just click one to open the application, and you can uh, swipe on the touchpad to open the list of applications. But the Mac OS X has a better way of doing this using expose so what is expose first thing we need to do is to uh, um, open the settings on system preference click on the expose on spaces tab go to expose so we can choose hot corners hot corners basically means when I swipe the cursor to one of the four corners, it'll, it'll activate a function. For my case, I made uh, here are the options that you can assign to the hot corner. So I chose the bottom left, the desktop. And the top left will run expose. So when I swipe my mouse over to the top left, it laid out all my open applications. Again, here they are. You just uh, click on one of them and it will be brought to the front. Very practical, very fast. And I find this a much more convenient way of doing things than the old uh, Alt Tab on Windows. Now we will look at another feature called Spaces, which is um, used in tandem with Expose. Again, in the settings, we'll now go to Spaces. It basically creates a duplicate of your desktop. Um, you can increase the rows and columns. The uh, Maximum you can set it is let's see here 16. So you could have 16 uh, virtual uh, duplicates of your desktop. In my case, I am satisfied with just two. Let me show you what Spaces does. So I signed it to the uh, top right hot corners. If I uh, move my cursor to the top right, it shows the two virtual desktops and if I move to the top left it displays the applications in expose view so I can have two desktops displaying um, two groups of applications arranged in expose so when I went back to the uh, left desktop as you can see all that was left there there are just four applications left. While well, I dragged um, iTunes and my mail to the right desktop. And I can uh, quickly show desktop by swiping down. Now let's look at the keyboard of the MacBook Pro. Most of it is um, the standard, standard set of keys you'll find. Uh, one major difference is that there's now a command key, which you won't find on uh, Windows computers. The uh, function keys on the top are also assigned to um, reset functions, which again you won't find on uh, Windows. The Mac keyboard also doesn't have backspace, home, and end keys.
finally, we'll look at how the uh, Mac Finder compares to Windows Explorer. The uh, immediate thing you'll notice is on the left side. You can see the uh, major drives or top folders, but when you click on them, they don't uh, drill down into their subfolders. So people used to explore might um, might miss seeing the uh, file path pathing and uh, the drill down of the different files. But you'll also get an added feature with a cover flow, which basically arrays all your files um, into a graphic format. Windows Explorer also has something similar uh, using thumbnails, but I find CoverFlow to work uh, faster and more intuitive, especially with the touchpad or the magic mouse. You can also easily uh, drag files into shortcuts. I just dragged this picture now into my um, mail shortcut and it automatically arranged it in a compose mail which I could have easily sent. So this picture now I dragged it to the Safari which is the uh, web browser of the Mac and it opened it on the uh, as a web page. So you have here also the uh, applications folder which has all the programs on your MacBook Pro which on a Windows device you'd probably have to search for one by one. This is the home folder which is of course the name of the MacBook Pro. I can easily drag applications onto the finder bar so that when I go to a file, for example a movie file, what, what I can just do is drag the movie file onto the QuickTime application shortcut and it will play it using QuickTime. to the uh, home folder. You also have a dedicated folder for downloads. Everything you download from, from mail or from your browser automatically comes here. As you can see I downloaded a, a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Now I'll just right click and choose quick look and I can see the spreadsheet, the contents of the spreadsheet. I can't edit it but I can, I can look at the, uh, the information, which is quite an impressive feat considering I don't have Microsoft Excel. Again, to the right, you can see all images, all movies, all documents are automatically arranged in these folders. And in CoverFlow, I can just flick through. I'm not looking at all the pictures on my MacBook Pro. I can just quickly flick through them and do quick look look at them without necessarily opening the file. I basically found um, Mac Finder to take the most getting used to coming from a Windows device. But once I got the hang of it, I don't see a lot of problems um, using it coming from a Windows Explorer background.